Hi everybody, welcome back to Tuesdays with Paula. I'm Paula K. Bronte, your Master Rapid Eye Technician. And today we're talking about manifesting. It's the big word, right? It has been for a while. Everybody wants to manifest. And it's a great thing. We are creators and as creators we are manifestors. However, we've come to believe that manifesting simply means getting what we want. I want the red car. I want a new house. I want the perfect job. Right? We usually have our three areas of concern as human beings. We're usually very focused on either relationship, money and work of some kind, or health. And as long as we stay stuck in those three arenas, we're going to stay stuck in the human existence that we have come to call life, that keeps us in this very 3D kind of uh, mentality. We are becoming multidimensional beings. We are going beyond our human creations. We are going beyond our human desires and appetites. We are with every breath we take now on this planet, we are becoming more and more our divine self. We are becoming more connected to the highest consciousness, the higher consciousness that's being offered us. And as we begin to recognize our power, as we stand in our full stature as creators and manifestors, our first duty and actual responsibility, like the word or not, is to our source. So if you want to really manifest joy, right? Abraham Hicks says, we think we want what we want because in the having of it, we will feel better. So if you're wanting to manifest so that you will feel better. The key is to manifest from source. The key is to open and ask and call forth the power of your source, whatever that is for you, we can call it pure light. Call in pure light into you, into your body, into your life. So that light, so that divine, so that source, so that God can express through you, can have fun through you, can play through you, and then watch your power of manifestation just explode. Because rather than doing it from this small human need, right, and from our limited finite minds, we're connecting with divine mind. We're connecting with the ultimate intelligence of the universe. And we're opening to receive that intelligence. We're inviting ourselves to be the home, to be a host for that highest vibration to come into us and experience life here. Many people say that's why we were created in the first place. So that God, source, divine, whatever you'd like to call it, has a vehicle for being able to express, for being able to experience itself, right? If you're a fish in water and all you know is water, you don't register it as water, right? You need a contrast. So one of the reasons many people teach us that we were created was so that there could be a, a contrast for divine and divine could actually come in and experience itself. And so if you really want to become a master creator, a master manifester, then find a way, take the time, desire to open yourself as a host for the highest living God to come in to you and experience itself here, experience life through you and put you, source, dear source, beloved light, put me in those places where you can most expand through me. Put me in those circumstances, put me around those people where you can most expand through me. In joy, in love, in absolute creation and expression of who you are through me. And then things start to show up for you. You have your list of things that you know that you want, that you want to manifest. When this highest intelligence actually is allowed, is invited to come into you and express through you, all those things that you want, of course, this intelligence knows. And it will go to work to just simply attract it for you. Because it's moving through you at a vibrational rate that can only 
bring to you the higher experiences. Those experiences that you're wanting and desiring in ways that you couldn't even imagine. So you might want to abandon the old childish notion of manifesting that I want something, so I'm going to use all these tools that I have to get it. I'm going to make it happen. You might want to grow up from that. You might want to come into your full stature as a true creator in complete union, in partnership with the ultimate creator, your source, and open yourself and allow that source to come into you and create through you what is going to most serve that source and all of humanity, all of the planet, all living things. That's a true creator. That's a true manifester. If we look at the great ones that have walked this earth, those that have gone on to be what we call ascended masters, saints, their power to manifest and create was sublime, superb, superior to anything we do. And it was because they gave themselves to that highest vibration. They gave themselves to pure light, to love, to God, to source. And they allowed that power to come into them and express through them and turn them into the creators that they came to be. And in doing so, they influenced everybody and everything, and they still do. Centuries later. Okay, so become a master manifester. Become the ultimate creator and do it in union with divine will, with divine source, and with that power that you came to ignite because if you didn't, you wouldn't be here. You came at this time on this planet to ignite and accelerate and activate this power as creator within you. Because it's never been as strong on the planet before as it is right now. And that's why you're here. You came to play in this game right now. And so if you want to pace, pick it up, you want to pick up the pace, you want to step it up, keep opening yourself and inviting pure light to come in and create through you. And surrender and know that in that surrender, that which you most desire will come to you. Okay, that's it for today. Master Manifestors, have a fabulous week. Enjoy creating and have fun. Bless you. See you next week. Bye-bye.